Hello, howdy all, grab yourselves a beer. It is time for some more info from ExileCon. And in addition to the stuff that I talked about, about the Metamorph League and the Conquerors of the Atlas update that's coming out in 3.9, we just had the main sort of deep dive into 4.0 systems, which was a really interesting thing where they gave quite a bit more information about the changes that are coming up to the Skill Jam system in 4.0. So one of the things that uh, the developers discussed was that they'd identified that some of the early decisions that they'd made about the skill jam system had been somewhat limiting in the uh, future of the game. And what I'm talking about here is that early in the game they decided that they wanted to have as many different axes for items to be unique as possible. And so in the exploratory design, there were, and apparently this is pre-alpha period, there was no such thing as a fusing orb or a jeweler's orb or a chromatic orb. Uh, essentially, you would get you'd get what you were given in terms of so item sockets on rare items, and the developer's expectation would be that most people would have a four link, that five links would be special, and that six links would be legendary items. Like you know, the sort of thing that you'd hear rumors of them existing. You didn't know that they would be that they would even be real. So. What ended up happening was that the this wasn't as satisfying as they thought. And so they introduced jewelers, chromatics, and fusings. And we got the system where early in early in uh, sort of 1.0 era of Path of Exile, uh, the four link was the sort of basic, you know, just the basic crap that you had while you were leveling. Then the five link was the sort of expected mid-tier endgame gear. Sorry about that, not in the quietest spot, so I just had to pause for a sec then while people walk past loudly. Um, five link was the expected endgame gear and a six link was a sort of major upgrade, like it'd be a milestone upgrade, the way that getting a good watcher's eye is currently a milestone upgrade in 3.8 era of the game. That, and you know that would be a milestone upgrade that not every player would get to and many players wouldn't. It was a long time, um, you know, I, I don't think I hit I don't think I got my hands on a six link for quite some time when I started playing. Anyways, uh, this was the design for a period and then of course with power creep, with loot inflation over time, uh, six links became much more the norm. And so it would, rather than being a major, major end game milestone, like the sort of your whole of league goal was to get a six link, nowadays it's a stepping stone for a character is that you get a six link. Anyways, what why we're going through this is because it meant that the it ceased to like getting a six link ceased to be this mythical end game upgrade and became a stepping stone and this meant that having the gem links be linked to items became a bit of an albatross around the game's neck and so this is the developer's perspective and it's something i agreed with so it meant that say if you were uh, playing a character that was using uh your your ultimate end game armor was to be a six link vile regalia where it was crafted with energy shield. And you might use a five link Necromancer's, uh, Necromancer's silks as a substitute until you can get your six link Val Regalia. But then once you get your Val Regalia, let's say you then have a better one drop, suddenly you, you now have, in order to use this new item, in order for it to become an upgrade, uh, you need to be able to justify spending a whole bunch of fusing orbs and jewelers orbs rendering it into a new six link. So the new system that they're going with is that there will be a is that your gems instead will be the thing where your links are so you will start out the game with three link gems uh, at least i think three link is the, is the default that you get you may be able, it may be two links as well and these two link gems will mean you've got say your fireball gem plus one space for one support you'll be able to recolor these gems and you'll be able to use jewelers orbs on them to change the number of uh, support gems that they can accept and the like. It doesn't seem that there's going to be any translation of fusing orbs. I think that everything will be linked. Your character will default to having nine slots for uh, gems that you can use. So two of them will be in your armor. Uh, two will be in each weapon. So if, you, if you're using a two-hander, you'll have four. And then you'll have boots, gloves, and helmet. So that's your total nine gem slots that you that your character has, and then each of those gems can have up to six, uh, or can have up to five support gems on it. 
Additionally, because there's a lot of niche use cases at the moment, uh, including very common ones like auras, where players don't have access to, uh, you know, where players will have a lot of unlinked auras or maybe single linked auras, they're introducing a concept called metagems, which will take over all of the current trigger gems and will, there will also be some new ones. And one that they unveiled was a metagem, uh, I can't think what it's called, but um, what it does is it, you can socket any number of auras into it and it gives a slight reservation discount to those auras and allows you to, with a single button, uh, turn them all on. So that's going to be great. Like, you know, you, if you uh, die as often as I do in softcore, then you can just go, ah, oh, okay, I died, all right, well, press T, and boom, all of my auras are back up and now I'm straight back in the fight. So that's going to be something that'd be really good. Uh, in terms of other game systems that are being changed, there's going to be a whole new system of ascendancies. So, the breakdown on how it's going to work is as follows. The existing 19 ascendancies will still exist in the game. The only way that you will be able to unlock them is, on a character is to do the Path of Exile 1 campaign and then complete the Labyrinth. At least at the moment. This, may, this is subject to change. There are also going to be 19 new ascendancies, which you will get through the new seven act campaign. So you will then have to run Path of Exile 2 to unlock them. Uh, the idea is that once you have unlocked an ascendancy, it is permanent on your account. So if you wanted to, to let's say that you start a new account after Path of Exile 2 comes out. Uh, if you want to unlock the Ranger's Deadeye and also the new Ranger Survivalist uh, tree, or the Ranger Beastmaster tree, then what you will need to do is play Path of Exile 1 in order to unlock the Deadeye and then it is permanently unlocked for your future characters including ones that you run through Path of Exile 2. Then you'll run uh, Path of Exile 2 and unlock the Beastmaster and the Survivalist. There's one other range of uh, class as well, I'm uh, the Tactician. Uh, they're the three of them. So th these seemed really interesting. They had a fair bit of information they gave out about the Ranger subclasses. So, the first one was the Survivalist, which seems to be a tree that you can go two ways on. You can go to the right end of the tree for damage and for damage applications. So, one of the skills very similar to the Deadeye's, uh, Deadeye's Ricochet is a three-way selector where you can choose between three options. One of them is your projectile's fork, one of them is your projectile's gain plus one chain, and the other one is your projectile's gain plus two pierces. Now, um, uh, at least it's my opinion that Chain is just strictly better than the other two options, but, you know, like, that's, uh, that's my thoughts on it. Uh, I, other people may disagree. And so that's the Survivalist's uh, offensive side. The other side has some defensive options as well, including an interesting one that, grant, that uh, gives you a, a skill you can toggle on and off that changes your evasion and dodge to spell dodge and spell evasion respectively. Uh, so that's going to be something where that'll be really interesting to see how that plays out in practice. Uh, very strong defensive skill that you can just toggle on when you are in a little bit of bother. So that's the survivalist. There's also the, the Beastmaster who has a number of pets and also has a number of shapeshift forms. Uh, we've got very little info on the shapeshift forms at the moment, uh, just that the critical strike oriented one uh, is, the, is the cat form, a werecat, and that is locked behind being a Beastmaster Ascendancy. So that's the only way to get the werecat, but you don't need to be a Beastmaster to pick up some of the other, uh, some of the other various shapeshift forms. There was also a small amount of information about the Tactician, who seems to be a ranged attack totem specialist. Uh, range attacks uh, totems are being overhauled in 3.9, so that'll be earlier than 4.0. They're all being reflavored as ballistas, and they look really interesting. Uh, I'll have to test it out, but one of the things that was really interesting was the Siege Breaker option in the Tactician tree. Your most recently cast ballista has double damage and double attack speed, and that's 100% that's more, not 100% increase for both. So essentially, your most recently summoned one has quadruple damage. Uh, that looks really strong. We'll have to see how it works out in practice. Anyways, uh, it's, there were a number of questions that were asked about how items like Calm's Heart will work. So socket and modifying items, Calm's Heart, Tabula Rasa and the like, how they will be translated into Path of Exile 2 or 4.0. I keep using those terms independently, but oh, sorry, keep using both of those terms, but 
I'm really interested to see the final product here. Calm's heart is going to have, uh, you're just going to lose your chest sockets, which means that you'll have seven socketed items instead of, uh, instead of having the default nine, sorry, seven socket total skills. I think the opportunity cost of using Calm's heart is much lower in, in uh, Path of Exile 2 than it is in Path of Exile 1, but we shall see on that. I'm open to being proven wrong. Tabula Rasa will have three white sockets. Uh, now, Tabula Rasa is no longer going to be the offensive powerhouse that it is in the early game because you're not going to have access to six linked uh, skill gems early on. So having access to a six linked Tabula Rasa uh, probably won't matter very much. Anyways, uh, there's a lot more that will be coming out. I'm sure that I've missed a few things, uh, just part of the drawback of having to do this with very limited equipment, uh, other than the shaky camera work, is that I don't have the ability to really take extensive notes and refer to them. So I will have missed things. I would highly recommend watching the entirety of the deep dive uh, into 4.0 mechanics uh, set up as soon as it's available. For the rest of the day here, I'm going to be playing a little bit of the Path of Exile card game, which is a um, really sort of silly but cool uh, thing that's been set up at ExileCon where you get given a whole bunch of cards that represent various items from the game. So here we have a brush axe of blazing and here we have the reasonably legendary seeming Maroi Equi. As soon as I can find it, why don't I just look for that now? Put that at the front so that I could show it to you easier. Um, we have Maroi Equi which has a monstrous 13 damage 11 physical to fire. Uh, I haven't got that off Brutus for some reason. But essentially, it's just a stat comparison game, so not too dissimilar to Magic the Gathering Creature Combat, if you're familiar with that game, uh, where you compare your stats to a GGG developer who will be wearing a shirt that says their stats on it. And if you win, then you will end up getting an, a random item from them. Obviously, higher tier ones will give a higher tier um, item. And then they will also retributively damage one of your items as well. So I, I ended up for a period I had to trade with another player because my chess piece was destroyed. Uh, so I had this uh, four life chess piece, which was just, you know, fine starter gear uh, and ended up getting destroyed by enemies. And so I had to then go and um, trade with other players in order to pick up another one. So I'm gonna have another look at that and I'm also going to try to get onto the 4.0 slash Path of Exile 2 demos uh, that they've got 120 systems set up running those demos in there. Uh, have a little bit of a look at that and I hope that there's also a 3.9 demo. I'm not sure if that exists or not. I had a feeling that in 4.0 they've done Act 1 uh, but not the Act Boss as I, I believe that's the current state, uh, state and that it's in a very playable state at the moment. Uh, of course there's still six more acts to go, there's a lot of new systems to go and obviously uh, yeah, there's, there's going to be the massive migration that they've got to do at the end of it. Anyways, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, comments and questions definitely fire away below. Otherwise, have a good one.